So now it is that your girl's recording. I promise you, I'm wearing shorts. It is 86 degrees out where it is that I'm at. I just came from campus. Yeah, you know, I'm wearing shorts. I promise you. If you see a little bit of leg, I promise. All right, you guys. So now it is we can able to talk about this. We can able to get into a deep dive of this. Kendrick Lamar diss euphoria and i love i love the naming of it and the fact that he dropped this on a tuesday which is synonymous of the club going up on a tuesday song that, that drake has done all of y'all was talking this spicy yin yang it is that like oh kendrick kendrick he well he ain't post up anything he ain't did his this he might as well have lost at this rate y'all was talking all this spicy yin yang for no reason and now my man's really came through with a six minute rant or how much it is that he hates hate this nigga drake and i'm all for it so without further ado y'all let's go ahead we about to get back and get into this kendrick lamar this euphoria let's get into this next video y'all let's do it jimmy euphoria Them superpowers get neutralized, I can only watch in silence. The famous actor we once knew is looking paranoid and now spiraling. Now, that one video of that nigga just like, this is what this is reminding me of. You're moving just like a degenerate, heavy antique is feeling distasteful. Why calculate you, not as calculated, I can even predict your angle. Fabricate stories on the family front, cause you heard Mr. Morale. A pathetic master manipulator, I can smell the tales on you now. You're not a rap artist, you're a scam artist with the hopes of being accepted. Tommy Hilfiger stood out, but Fubu never had been your collection. I make music that electrify him. You make music that pacify him. I can double down on that line, but spare you this time. That's random acts of kindness. Know you're a master manipulator and habitual liar too. But don't tell no lie about me. And I Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're a scam artist with the hopes of being accepted. Tommy Hilfiger stood out, but FUBU never had been in your collection. Nah, 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 now, you know, Trickster, I agree with you. That, that line is kind of flying over nigga's head. Drake tried to, tried to diss, but he got caught in his own shit. Hey, listen, you know? Manipulator and habitual liar too, but don't tell no lie about me, and I won't tell truths about you. This whole Shoo. beat switch, oh my God. Shoo. Yeah, I'm out the way, yeah, I'm low, okay, yeah, the island right here is remote, okay, I ain't thinking about no reaper, nigga, I'm reaping what I sow, okay, got a Benjamin and a Jackson all in my house, like I'm Joe, okay. Hey. Nah, this line is crazy, okay, okay, you said I'm here to break it down, gang, as you should. <laughs> Break it down for the people. Nah, the B switch on this. Love it already. What I so okay? Got a Benjamin and a Jackson all in my house. Like I'm Joe K. Okay. Hey, okay. Made his own boys and them types of lay solo K. Okay. Everybody wanna be demon till they get chipped by your throwaway. And I might do a show a day. What's a lame? Always a lame. Oh, you thought the money, the power of fame will make you go away. Have you ever played? Have you ever? Okay, nigga, let's play. Have you ever watch your enemy down like with a poker face? Have you ever paid 500,000 like to an open case? Well, I have. And I feel that both, but I came out straight. I hate when a rapper talk about guns, then somebody die, they turn into nuns, then hop on. Oh. I hate when I rap, I talk about guns, and somebody die, then turn into nuns, and then hope, and then hop online, like pray for my city. Ugh. Ugh. I, I've been telling y'all it is that this nigga is really a street nigga, bro. But I came out straight. I hate when I rap or talk about guns, then somebody die, they turn into nuns, then hop online, like pray for my city. He faking for likes and digital hugs. His daddy a killer, he wanna be junior, they must have forgot. Hold up. And this is not the first time it is I've heard about Drake's dad. I've heard I've heard some I've heard some gangster shit about that father. You know? When Drake not about that life, but his father is. You can tell that his father was like a pimp back in the day, type shit. His daddy a killer and wanna be a junior. Must have forgot the shit that they did. Mm. The shit that they done, dementia must run in his family, but let it get shaky. 
I park your son. The very first time I shot me a Drake, the homie had told me to aim it this way. I didn't point down enough. Today I show you I learned from those mistakes. Somebody had told me that you got a ring. Oh God, I'm ready to double the wage. I'd rather do that than let a Canadian nigga make Pac turn in his grave. <laughs> I'd rather do that than let a Canadian nigga make Pac turn in his grave. I, I said this from the moment that he used that AI bullshit that, that some people just like, oh, no, nah, that's hard. That's hard. You know? Oh, the part. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Benjamin was running his fam family, but let it get shaky. I Parkinson, the very. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Golly. Niggas was glazing that push-up song. They was glazing that and then the AI shit. And I told y'all from when it is we reacted to it that I didn't like it. I didn't like the, excuse me. I didn't like that AI version because I'm like, first of all, the way how it is that Tupac raps, that's nowhere remotely close. I said this from the moment I heard that. This is Drake. This is a Drake flow, but just switched up to sound like Tupac. And I, I never liked it. Like, that shit was weird to me. But then everybody was just like, oh, yeah, nah, that shit was hard. That shit was hard. Like, Kendrick, hey, you know what I'm saying? Kendrick's not the, the king of the West Coast, this, this, and this. I'm like, nigga, how you gonna sit there? I've said this from before him. I told y'all the whole thing about what happened with fucking Tupac. That, that nigga had a three-album deal it is he had to do, do for Shug coming out of prison. That bullshit charge it is that he had that ain't really had anything to do with him per se but that nigga did not drop hit him up once it is he got out of prison he got out of prison in october of 1995 he didn't drop hit him up until june of 1996 so like what we say what we talking about here like even just using the AI, I see why it is his estate was trying to sue him. Point down enough. Today I show you I learned from those mistakes. Somebody had told me that you got a ring. Oh God, I'm ready to double the wage. I'd rather do that than let a Canadian nigga make Pac turn in his grave. Cut the finish, you got shit twisted. What is it, the brakes? I hurt your feelings, you don't work with me no more. Okay, it's three ghosts left and I see two of them kissing and hugging on stage. Yikes. Yikes, he don't want to work with me no more. Okay, yeah, still he got to go left, and I see two of them kissing and hugging up on stage. You said you feel bad for Cole, not gonna lie. I don't. I don't. I don't. I, I don't. I do not feel bad for Cole in any formality anymore. Because he, he, he's getting to what it is that he deserves at this rate. He literally said on stage, whatever it is that Kendrick does, he's going to take that shit on the chin. He needs to take this on the chin at this rate. You make a whole project of might delete later and the backpedal on stage. And now you now you go ahead and say it is like, oh, yeah, make some motherfucking noise. If you think Kendrick is the best motherfucking rapper of all time, this is and this. Like, come on now. You was literally just on tour with Drake. Going back and forth on different cities and stuff like that. Cut that shit out. Cut it out. But Cole knew what he was getting. Hey, li listen, you, you you know what it is that you like. Do you know how tedious that is to go ahead and record a song or this or whatever the case may have? You go to the go into the studio, make the whole song, have somebody mi mix it, master it, then go ahead and get the rights to publish that bitch out. That's not something it is that you could easily just do. That was something it is that you wanted to do. And then you're backpedaling from that? No. And then delete it? Nah. Nah. Lose your lost respect for that. But I will say it is that Cole, J. Cole is still a great rapper. I'm not taking that away from him, but this was a bad move. It was a bad move. So whatever Kendrick, you know what I'm saying, has to say to Cole at this rate, he got to take that. It is what it is. You got to take that diss now? Absolutely. I love them to death. And then eight bars, I'll explain that phrase. It's not nobody can tell me. I don't want to talk on no celly. You know I got language barriers. It's no accent you can sell me. You're cold and I you know I'm a selfish nigga. The crown is heavy. I pray they my real friends. If not, I'm YNW Melly. Bro. 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 This line. I, this. 
I, I glanced over this fucking line when I first heard this earlier. But do you know how sick you gotta be to put fucking Melly in a fucking verse? <laughs> in a line? To, to do it like this? I pray they my real friends. If not, yeah. Yeah. You gonna go, you on Fuck, isn't Melly still on, on trial? Isn't he still on trial? Like, I don't think, I don't even think it is they finished that fucking trial. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. You said they're not real friends? Yeah, you could tell it is that they're not. The crazy thing is that Melly thought Dot was talking about him on, on like that. Oh, oh really? Really? Everyone in the rap industry ain't real friends. Yeah. yeah. Shit. No matter if you make music and stuff, like, y'all not real friends. I mean, it, you know, can't can't be friendly to everybody. That is true. You can't be friendly to everybody. Not everybody your friend, and then not especially not in this setting. Well, let's I don't like you popping shit at for real. For him, I inherit the beef. Yeah, fuck all that pushing P. Let me see you push a T. I think it is. I paid more attention to this last, this last line than the Melly line, and I should have really paid attention to both. Yeah, fuck all that pushing P. Let me see you push a T. Hey, hey, listen, I ain't gonna lie. Push a T was uh, push a T's diss is a is a top tier diss. It, it's up there for me. It is up there. That nigga done exposed this nigga of having a kid, bro. Nobody knew it is that Drake had a, had a child. Now, went ahead and seed up some corn star. It is that, you know, it didn't even take that much, to be honest with you. And, and got this son and hiding his kid from the world type shit, you know? 50 said back in the day that these industry niggas ain't friends and they know how to, how to pretend. Yeah. He didn't want to take care of the, ki of the kid. Yeah, he really didn't. He really didn't. That, mm, mm. And still to this day, Drake, I'm sorry, but like, you ain't really clap back at this nigga Pusha T. That nigga Pusha T had like, he said he had multiple disses coming back, back to back. And if Drake said anything, boy, boy, hey, listen, Drake, you gonna, you gonna have to, you gonna have to go ahead. You got, you got 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> you got 48 hours to address this and push a T at this rate because you still ain't even uh, attacked this properly. Yo, my hair is the beef. Yeah, fuck all that pushing P. Let me see you push a T. You better have spinning again on him. You think about pushing me. He's Terrence Thorne. I'm Terrence Crawford. Yeah, I'm whooping feet. We ain't got to get personal. This a friendly fade. You should keep it that way. I know some shit about niggas that make gonna want to look like a saint. I hate that gonna had to be in the mix of this. I hate that Gunna had to be in the mix of this because he took a plea deal that uh, I think Young Thug's brother also took as as well. I mean, shit, I I ain't gonna lie with you. If you if I get a Rico charge and they give me a plea plea deal, I'm sorry, it is, and I'm taking that shit too. I'm sorry. At the end of the day, bro, especially when it is like you know the niggas it is you can't trust. You think it is our own snitch? And, and, and the funny thing is, is that we don't give the same level of smoke to Gunna, and, but we're doing it to 6 9 And, like, granted, 6 9 is a snitch. Very much is so. And he also is a troll and a whole bunch of other things as well. But why are we not giving that smoke to Gunna as well? You know? We basically did the same thing. You know? Snitching is not necessarily accepted within, within the streets like that. But when you get in all these different types of charges and <laughs> conviction and sentences onto you, you all have to make a hefty decision on... Do you want to see another light of day or you want to be sitting there eating prison food for the rest of your life? Whooping feet is a slang for knocking niggas off shoe, knocking niggas shoes off in Cali type shit. Type shit. I've heard that saying before. I've heard it before, but I feel like that's like a, an older generation. I've heard older generations say that term. Gonna rep his gang. That's it. 
type shit. This ain't been about critics, not about gimmicks, not about who the greatest is. Always been about love and hate. Now let me say I'm the biggest hater. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. I hate the way that you sneak this. If I catch flight, it's gonna be direct. We hate the bitches you fuck, cause they confuse themselves with real women. Then Damn. 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 I love this level of hate. I love everything about with this. I aspire to be this fucking hateful. <laughs> I aspire. You know how much hate you got to be to be like, I hate the way you walk. I hate the way you talk. I hate the way you dress. I hate the way you sneak this. We hate the bitches you fuck because they confuse themselves with real women. Golly. Oh my God, I love it. I love this. I love this. I love this. And may I add it is that Kendrick didn't even have to address the fact it is that this nigga Drake be fucking with mad, like, young women. He didn't even have to go ahead and do that. He just went ahead and be like, hey, listen, we hate the bitches you fuck because they confuse themselves with real women. That's un beautiful. Beautiful. He didn't even have to even say... He didn't even have to say that. Niggas already know it is that Drake like him young. The title has another meaning. That last part is most definitely a shot to Sexy Red. I've been told y'all my sentiments about her. I've been told y'all my sentiments about how I feel about this ratchet, you know, rapping and the representation on that and everything. She got mad at the fact that it is like a school was just like, nah, we're not trying to have you here. And it's like, come on, why the, why the fuck are like, why are we bringing this girl to schools with like churin and everything like that? What are you, what are you like? Let's let, be fucking for real. Be fucking for real. <laughs> be fucking for real. Euphoria is also a reference to the show. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I love Euphoria. You know what I mean? She knew what she was... Exactly, and got mad. Exactly, exactly. I fuck with Sexy Red. Some of her songs are catchy. Like, this recent one that is out is catchy. But other than that, I'm just like... this. And then there's a recent picture of her to where, like, she didn't have, like, as many tattoos being seen and everything. And I'm like, she actually looks... Like, I like how it is that she looks here. Some tattoos are great. Tattoos are hit or miss with people. Some tattoos make them, and you know, it heightens the look. And then there's other times where it is the tattoos just do no justice for them whatsoever. And, and in that case, it's her. She is pretty. But I feel it is that she does not need all them damn tattoos. It just tones her down quite a bit for me. Without me being rude about that to say, like, yeah, like, I still think it is that she's pretty. but. This recent picture it is I've seen of her or this recent video. I'm like, oh, okay, like, I like this version. I like this. Damn, you know, we need more of this. You know what I mean? Catch flight, it's gonna be direct. We hate the bitches you fuck, cause they confuse themselves with real women. Then notice I said we, it's not just me. I'm what the culture feeling. How many more fairy tale stories about your life till we had enough? How many more black features till you finally feel that you're black enough? Damn, uh. Um, uh, how many more black features till you finally feel that you're black enough? Oh man, damn! <laughs> that nigga is white. That nigga is white. He's a white. <laughs> oh my god! How many more fairy tales about your life till we've had enough? Hmm. That nigga said, "I'm what the culture feeling." Fuck. Fuck. It's about your life till we had enough. How many more black features till you finally feel that you're black enough? I like Drake with the melodies. I don't like Drake when he act tough. You gonna make a nigga bring back Puff. Let me see if Chubbs really crashed something. Yeah, my f This is it. Hey, listen. Ross said the alley oop of <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I agree. I agree with that. I will say this. I do like Drake with melodies. I do. I do. I, I do. But this nigga Kendrick said, you gonna make, make a nigga bring back Puff. Let me see if Chubbs really is crashing something. That, shoo! <laughs> oh my God. Damn. Uh, at that moment, Drake knew that he fucked up. Hey, you know, it is what it is. First one, like my last one. It's a classic. You don't have one. Let your core audience stomach that. Didn't tell them where you get your abs from. Let your core audience stomach that. Didn't tell them where you get your abs from. Oh, no. 
Oh no. Oh no. You're not beating the surgery allegations. You're not beating it, Drake. Oh fuck. <laughs> Classic, you don't have one. Let your core audience stomach that. Didn't tell them where you get your abs from. V12 is a fast one. Boom, boom, boom. Last one. Headshot for the year. You better walk around like Daft Punk. Remember? Oh my God. Headshot for the year. You better walk around like Daft Punk. Remember? Wow. Wow. Yeah, this how we come in? I like it. I like it. I like it. This dad punk fell off. <laughs> wow. Listen, hip hop and man, listen, I, we got to go ahead and give a shout out to Cat Williams. The nigga it is who said everything from the dark is gonna come to light this year and everybody gonna have something to say it was this nigga the cat williams that said it first and here we are about to be in may or damn near at may Oof. oh my gosh hey top dog who the fuck they think they playing with extortion my middle name as soon as you jump off of that plane bitch i'm allergic to the lame shit only you like being famous yaddy can't give you no swag neither i don't give a fuck about who you hanging with i hate the way that you walk the way that you talk i hate the way that you dress surprise she wanted that feature request you know that we got some shit to address i even hate when you say the word nigga but that's just me i guess Rick Ross, bro, because he was the same. He was the first person to say something within this line. That, bro, when I heard this earlier, I was dying. I was dying. Basically, extorting Drake when he got out of the plane of Cali. Mm. I, I was dying laughing at this line. I even hate when you say the word nigga, but that's just me, I guess. That. Oh my God, that's just me. I guess K dot twenty twenty four. Ah, this had me in tears earlier. I'm just like, hey, listen, you know, some shit just shit to address. I even hate when you say the word nigga, but, but that's, that's just, just me. me I, I guess. guess some shit just cringe worthy. Ain't even gotta be deep. I guess still love when you see success. Everything with me is blessed. Keep making me dance, wave my hand, and it won't be no threat. I'm knowing they call you the boy, but where's the man? Cause I ain't seen him yet. Matter of fact, I ain't even bleed him yet. Can I bleed him? Bet. When I see you stand by sexy red, I believe you see two bad bitches. I believe you don't like women. It's real competition. You might pop ass with them. Let's. God, matter of fact, hold on, hold on, nah, because where is that pick? Where, where is that pick at? Where is the pick? Where is the pick? Cause nah, now we gotta, now we gotta look at this. We gotta look at this pick. Cause if you seen the picture it is that I seen with this nigga with with sexy red, then you would understand that you will know how hilarious that shit is to see that. That is fucking hilarious to see. Standing next to Sexy Red. Yo, that shit, boy. Boy, that shit is fucking hilarious. Then let me look. Oh, we about to find it. We about to find it right now, gang. We about to... There we go. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Two bad bitches in a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, uh, damn, you know, this, this ain't looking too good for you, Drake. This ain't, this ain't looking too good for you, gang. This ain't looking too good for you, gang. Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> 
speak on percentage. Show me your splits, I'll make sure I double back with you. Petition, you might pop ass with them. Let's speak on percentage. Show me your splits, I'll make sure I double back with you. You assigned to a nigga that signed to a nigga that said he was signed to that nigga. Try cease and assist on a like that record. Oh, what you ain't like that record? Nah, this is hilarious. He was signed to a nigga that signed to a nigga that signed. <laughs> that said he was signed to that nigga. Try to cease and desist on a like that record. And this is what it is for um Drake is with Cash Money. Yeah, ca Cash Money uh, Cash Money has is 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 from there's so many different splits within that shit. I think uh was it was it Blueface underneath something of Cash Money? It was like like I, it was something East related. I can't remember. And it, it was it was divided up with so many. I like boy, that boy was in a 360 deal. It was just nothing but just splits, splits, splits. He wasn't really making money off of that record deal like that. Okay, it it was it was Cash Money West Coast. Thank you, thank you. That's so I was like, wait, is it has to be something? A, a cease and desist to send. First and foremost, this is nasty business. To send a cease and desist to French Montana, I, I, I can understand why it is Rick Ross is not really banging with that. And it's just like, nah, that's some weak-ass shit. Like, you send it... And if you don't know what a cease and desist is, that means it is that nigga went to an attorney and was just like, hey, listen, I don't like this. Tell them it is that they need to remove it. Type shit. That's, that's disgusting. That is disgusting. What's up, Drew? He signed a 360 deal with Cash Money and other, and other record. Yep. What year did Cash Money take over? That's a good question. I feel like they, I feel like they've, it, it was definitely, like, it wasn't something as of, like, with recent. I, I want to say it is, this was, like, either in 2000s or 2010s. I want to say either, but somewhere in between that. I may have to check to see what year that was, because it, it had, yeah, yeah. That's how I was like, wait. Cause that's when 2012. Thank you. Thank you. Back to back. I like that record. I'm gonna get back to that for the record. Why would I call around trying to get turtle niggas? Y'all thinking my life is rap? That's whole shit. I got a son to raise, but I can see you don't know nothing about that. Wait. Damn. Y'all thinking my life is rap? That's whole shit. I got a son to raise, but I can see you don't know nothing about that. Damn, Drake. Damn. 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 Mm. Mm. At this at this rate, at this rate, Drake, what you gonna do, nigga? What you gonna do? You know what I mean? <laughs> what you gonna do? That nigga called you out and basically said is you ain't a father for real. Not a damn thing. Waking them up, no nothing about that. They tell them to pray, no nothing about that. They giving them tools to walk through life like day by day, no nothing about that. Teaching them morals, integrity, discipline. Listen, man, you don't know nothing about that. Damn. Damn. By day, no nothing about that. Teaching the morals, integrity, discipline. Listen, man, you don't know nothing about that. Speaking the truth and consider what God's considering. You don't know nothing about that. Ain't 20 v1, it's 1 v20. If I gotta smack niggas, that right with you. Yeah. Go ahead, talk your shit. Yes. Bring him out too. I clean him out too. Tell Bean that he better stay right with you. Am I battling ghosts or AI? I told you that AI shit was garbage. I told y'all that AI shit was garbage. <laughs> Just for you to go ahead and get sued by, by Tupac's estate or is going to get sued by Tupac's estate. Come on, gang. Bring him out too. I clean him out too. Tell Bean that he better stay right with you. Am I battling ghosts or AI? Nigga feeling like Joe Hill Austin. Funny he was in a film called AI. And my sixth sense telling me to off him. I'm a blick niggas all in the coughing. Yeah, OB ho niggas is dick riders. Tell him. <laughs> OB ho niggas is dick riders. Run to America to imitate heritage. They can't imitate this violence. What I learned is niggas don't like the West Coast, and I'm fine with it. I'll push the line with it. Pick a nigga off one at a time with it. We can be on a three hour time difference. Don't speak on the family, Crody. It can get deep in the family, Crody. Talk about me and my family, Crody. Someone go bleed in your family, Crody. I be at New Hall King eating fried rice with a dip sauce and a blammy, Crody. Tell me you're cheesing, fam. We can do this right now on the camera, Crody. Hey, fuck y'all niggas, I don't trust y'all niggas. I wave one finger and thump y'all niggas like, mm, feel go punk y'all niggas. They punk y'all niggas. Nobody never took my food. Whoever that's fucking with them, fuck you niggas and fuck the industry too. If you take it there, I'm taking it further. Psst, that's something you don't want to do. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. We don't want to hear you say nigga no more. Hey. 
we don't want to hear you say nigga no more. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm spinning that back. Want to do Hey, we, we don't, don't want to hear you say nigga no, no more. more. Hey, we, we don't, don't want to hear you say nigga no more. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I like that. That ending part, that ending part. I'm just like, oh, okay, give me a chance. Love that. Damn. I'm sure it is that Rick Ross <laughs> heard this shit and is, is, is geeking right now. <laughs> we get a moment of silence for Drake's career. Hey, listen, you know what I'm saying? I already said this earlier. Drake, you got 48 hours to respond. I better see a reaction. I better, I better see a whole motherfucking diss record within 48 hours. If not, I don't care about this shit no more. That motherfucker, Kendrick, came through and proved his motherfucking point once again. This spray is just like, look, push up really ain't, you know what I'm saying? It's not cutting it. It's not cutting it with this. I'm sorry. Mad people are trying to play, play like Kendrick isn't like that. Right. I, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. I, I really do not understand that. For, for people to go ahead and dick ride this badly. So and Somebody literally said that too. Let me show you. Let me show you. Dot, dot, dot. Push-up is still better. I'm not gonna lie. Pop it out. Oh my God. Oh my God. Pop it out. At this rate, for, for all of y'all dick riders, and especially for y'all trying to sit there and say it is like, oh yeah, like, well, Drake, Drake is better. This one, this is, this is lame. This isn't this. Yeah, don't, don't do that. You cannot sit there and say it is a, this, 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 this is garbage. You can't say it's lame. You can't say it's garbage. None of that shit, boy. You cannot say that. You can't. They keep bringing up sales and shit. That's, that's what niggas it is who are losing. Nicki Minaj did the same thing too when she was losing, losing when Re Remy Ma came through with Sheether. All this girl could do was literally talk about her sales. That's it. At that rate. And then she got chewed up. Chewed up by the most hardest motherfucking diss of all time. So at this rate, listen, Kendra came through and said what it is that he needed to say. He said Wayne could never. Right. Wayne was shit. Wayne would have heard that shit and went immediately in the booth. <laughs> we would have had like motherfucking five disses at this rate. We would have had a whole mixtape talking about this <laughs> one particular nigga within a week, bro. Niggas who say push up is better, they don't know real music. <laughs> right. It's right. But I am happy to see it is that we finally got a nice little diss record from Kendrick and he did not disappoint whatsoever. You know it is, it's a good diss when DJ academics don't got shit to say. That nigga shut the fuck up so goddamn fast. I was like, wow, out, out of all the times it is that you was at and this nigga talking about some of this, oh, we still haven't heard from him yet. You shut the fuck up the moment it is that he dropped something. Hmm. Quiet as shit now. That's not like you. You've aligned yourself with losers and it's not like you. <laughs> you pledge allegiance to losers and it's really not like you academics where are you at now where's all this shit now that you was talking that's crazy all of a sudden now you're just quiet like i don't understand i don't understand bitch i don't understand i don't understand you know what i mean <laughs> yeah. but yes kendrick shout outs to you gang I like that disc. Shout out to y'all in the, in the chat. And shout out to you at home. I'll catch y'all in the next video.